Hi everyone. Uh, what I'm doing today is a couple of four by four. Um, I'm sorry, these are six by six tiles, and I'm doing them in a geode fashion uh, to give you an idea of what I do with them. Is something like this. This is the last one I did. Uh, I was given these chips here. These uh, little shares shatters <laughs> um, pieces of glass that um, are pink they're very pretty and Miss Laura Brown Usher from uh, Laura's art corner in Facebook anyway she sells the resin and so she sells a lot of different embellishments and stuff as well and so she gave me them on the order that I had got last and wanted to know what I did with them when um when I got done. And I did that one and I did this one. So I hope that she's able to see that. I don't know if the lights got it to where you can't see it or can see it or not. But we will work on that eventually. Um, but for tonight, what I'm gonna try to do is these right here. I'm working with stone coat art resin. Um, the products that I'm using. Now, I have a lot lined up here. I'm not sure I'm going to use all of that over there, but I have Diamond, Black Diamond, Purple Haze. I have La Rose Molten Gold. I know you can't see some of them because my I'm a messy artist, and uh, so my hands get really messed up, and I put them on the jars, and then they get messed up. So This is a new one I haven't tried yet. This is merlot um, it's real pretty red looking a dark dark red this is a uh, purple rain these are all lores products here um, the purple rain and excuse me and the poxmit uh, the sassy red the sassy red is something else it is a beautiful beautiful paste epoxy paste these are all made for epoxy resin this is uh, Angel White. It's probably my favorite white to use. Um, and then I have some other things I have. This was just for you on linkuk.com, Chunky Black Magic Glitter. I have some shard glass red glitter that I may or may not use. I'm not sure yet. I got these from Laura. And this is a small... Uh, uh, mirrored glass that's really really beautiful um, like fire glass and it's really really pretty and I've got that on here and around the circle on this one um, I have a actual amethyst stone that I'm going to use on this that's really pretty um, so if all goes well these will be beautiful <laughs> but you guys will get to see what's uh how it goes, whether it's good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent, we'll figure it out together. And I've got entirely way too much resin. Then I also have some other, oops, that was way too much. I've also got some canvases that I can use that's lined up here along the way. And I've got plenty of tiles I can do that's coaster tiles. Um, hmm. I don't never measure my um, epoxy, my resin. So I always get too much or too little or something. Um, well, usually too much. I don't ever get uh, too little amount, but I always get too much. But, and y'all bear with, I know you can probably hear this chair is ex extremely squeaky, but it's the chair that I have, so bear with me on it, okay? There it goes, squeak, squeak. Also, I, I have some old resin tints um, that's by Art Resin, and I don't even know if they're still going to be any good. I used them years, let me see, probably over a year ago, I'm sure. Um, and I, I only used a couple of them and I didn't really care for the way that they did. Um, 
and at least in what I was trying to make at the time. So I pulled them out today and I've got uh, somewhere. Oh, I've got one over here. Uh, it's the purple to see how it does. Um, you know, just to give a little contrast, something different in here. So we'll see how this all comes out. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly what I'm using where. Um, the glitters that I have that I'm going to have poured, um, I'm going to put in resin, is that chunky black magic one I showed you, this one here, and some, this is an extra fine, uh, I don't know if you can see that, glitter that's really um, a very pretty glitter, but I have some other gold that's marquee uh, gold, and I'm not sure, I've, I've got the the fine gold ready to be, you know, to put a little resin in, and I've got the chunky black magic um, glitter ready to put some resin in, so we'll see. I, I, you know, I, I'm that person that will change my mind along the way. I think a lot of artists do that sometimes, but I uh, also have some beautiful onyx black, and this is gorgeous, glitter that I don't have it in anything, but I've got a little cup ready for it if I decide to use it um, that somebody gave me not too long ago. And I really love it. I've tried it already in a couple of things, and it's really pretty. So, so pretty. So, we'll see how um, all of this goes. I have, oh, molten gold. I don't know if I showed you that that I'm going to use by Lorez. I also have some molten silver um, over here that's by Lorez. And I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, but I got all this stuff out. I'm just not sure exactly what all I'm going to use. But we'll figure it out along the way. I do have some in the cups is the ones that's lined up here that I showed you. Um, so, and forgive me if my hand gets in the way when I'm doing this because... Uh, I don't have the right kind of camera setup that I want yet. This is working on, uh, you know, on just what I got. I'm working with what I got, plain and simple. <laughs> so, but my hope on this channel is to do different things. I love to do different um, mediums. I love to do canvas. I love to do tiles. I love to do wood. I like to do glass, you know, so um, you're liable to see me do all and any kind of things on here. I am an abstract artist, but a mixed media artist. So um, I will be trying to do my art on here from now on and let you see what does work for me, what doesn't work for me, and hopefully it'll help you with something that you're doing. I also take commissions if you would like for me to uh, do a commission piece for you. Just let me know. You can email me or um, oh goodness, okay. I'll leave the information, but you can email me at art at happyowlartistforlife.com and let me know and um, you also can get a hold of me on Instagram happy owl under under slash frost on Instagram and happy owl frost on Facebook so I have to really stir this up good. Uh, if you don't get it stirred up good, it won't cure right. And that's a, a, a time when it doesn't cure right because your piece will be soft or not hard enough, you know, to, um, to be able to do anything with. And you'll have to sand it or, you know, what I do is I 
I usually just go ahead and sand it a little bit and if it's not got real hard yet at all then I just pour on top of it and when that cures you know then it's good to go but um anyway so if I get quiet on you and I do like to talk so but uh if I do get quiet on you it's just because I'm concentrating 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 yep words words okay So, um, I want to give a big shout out to Miss Kim. You know who you are. She is my biggest supporter right now um, and sponsor. And she helps me with so much being able to do this. Uh, I want to thank Miss Laura Brown Usher, uh, Miss Susanna Danks, Jeff and Erica at ATD, Artist Till Death. Um, and my girl Tammy, because she, I love to ask her lots of questions, and she's always there to answer them for me. You know. Okay. I think it's done. I think it is soup, y'all. All right. Here we go. This one is Purple Rain, I believe. Yep. This one is the Merlot. I'm probably not saying that right, but um, it's the red powder. This is the Sassy Red by the Reds. That's so pretty. Molten Gold. Purple Haze, Black Diamond. And the Angel White by Larez. And this is the Resin Tint Purple. We'll see how it goes. Not sure what it's going to do, but we'll see. Looks, looks like it might be pretty. All right, now we got a little bit of clear... And what I want to do, because, oh, by the way, I did um, spray paint the top of these. The bottom has been taped. I can't show you because i got this stuff on top. But I taped the bottom around the edges. And the top I spray painted red uh, just to, to be able to give it something to hold on to, the the resin because tiles are so slick and they're very very giving so the resin goes I mean it's just it goes all over the place really it's it's, it's a hot mess easily if you're not careful so um anyway so now let's stir these up see what happens see what we get oh this resin tint looks pretty very uh, shiny, very uh, transparent. That's good. That's what I wanted. I did want transparency. I probably can use a little bit more in it, but I have to shake it so, so much. Let me see if I can put a little bit more in it. What will happen with the... Uh, this is very, very, very transparent. I hope you guys can hear me. Eventually I'll get a um, microphone in here. You know, eventually I'll get all the things I need, but, <clears throat> excuse me, for now, it just is the way it is, and we'll just have to work with it, it'll be all right, okay, I 
You might hear my cat over there. That's Smokey Joe. He's a big old gray boy. He was a feral kitten. And uh, he came in and so I took him to get him fixed and he got sick. So I've kept him ever since. And now he's a big old boy. He won't come over here like where I'm doing my art, he won't come over here, but he'll go, y'all can't see him on the edge of the table over there, because it's kind of wide table, and he'll go on the edge of the table over there. That Merlot's really, really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And the purple rain. Oh, we got some pretty colors in here, y'all. We got some pretty colors. Anyway, you can also um, send me something if you want. I'll have my address up there. Uh, and if you want to donate... Uh, I have PayPal I'll put up there but uh, just hit the like button and keep coming back and keep watching me and be a part of it and if you think that I'm taking too long and it gets boring just you know push it to the end of it and, and uh, see the end result But, um, I have a little bit of a messed up vocal cord, so I sound like I'm hoarse a lot, y'all. And it's not that I'm sick, it just sounds that way. Well, these purples are three different, very different purples. And the reds are two very, very different reds. So, um, when we get done with this, if I have enough left over, we'll do tiles. And, you know, I, I don't believe in wasting, if I can help it, I don't believe in wasting anything. And especially not resin. So, um, yeah. When we get done, that's what we'll, we'll do. If there's resin left over, we'll put it on something. And keep working with it until we can't no more. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, the glitter, the red glitter. It's not just red, it's like red and black is kind of what it looks like. It's called uh, Chunky Black Magic. Some of these things uh, that I still use, because I haven't used all of them, um, is things that people along the way have sent me to help me do what I do, you know. Um, and I have a friend that recently passed, and her name was Melinda, and she was the first person to ever send me a package. And um, she was an artist herself. She did beautiful pouring art and other art. She just uh, was a beautiful, beautiful person. So I really, I miss her, and I. She just recently passed, and uh, so the black magic is one of the things that she had sent me. I believe, um, you know, I, I'm very sparingly with my stuff so that it lasts. But I, every now and then I do a really big piece, and I usually go through all my resin when I do. <laughs> I love to make geodes. I like to make freeform geodes also. So you'll see me do that um, as well at some point in time. 
I don't have enough of this in the red one, so we'll put a little bit more of it in there. All right. Well, maybe I got too much now. It's okay. Let's see what happens. Smokey, get down. Excuse me. Get down from there. I should have put him in the room, actually, if I had thought. Okay, so what I want to do on here, I believe, is um, put a little bit of gold to start off with around here. Excuse me, just a minute. Get, get down. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to get him to get down from where he's at. He's tearing up my blinds. There's a female out there that he, uh, starting off with this gold here. I'm sorry that you cannot see what I'm doing. I'm really hating that. Um, but I'm running it along the side of the glass here. Later I will put some real pretty, uh, gold glitter on it I think that my cat may end up having to go in the room. I don't want to stop and go around and put him in the room if I can help it. Okay, and over here, um, I'm going to put the white around here. Okay, now we're going to run a little bit of red down here. You know, I want to wipe this off. I don't want that to be on there. And, well, that would be alright over there. I'm sorry, y'all, that the, the camera view is not that well. I'll work on that at some point and try to see if I can get that better. Now, this is the Merlot. Oh my goodness, it is really pretty. It's very dark, very almost like a uh, maroon. It's really pretty though. It's not like a maroon, but it's like a red with black in it or something. I, I don't know, um, like a burnt red. It's really pretty. I'm going to run it right up on that gold. And then we're going to put some red around the outside of it. Mm -hmm. and that. Okay. Well, 
So I'm going to line up some things here a little different. Okay. I'm going to put some white on here. I may end up having to get two uh, layers done on these because because <laughs> yep because oh boy that's so pretty 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 all right let me get busy over here over here around this white i want the gold i actually want it kind of in it There we go. I hope you guys can see this. Let me see if maybe if I put it a little bit closer. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. I don't know. Um, oh, well. I can tell you what I'm doing, though. All right, so I'm going to come in here with some purple rain. That's Loretta's Purple Rain. Oh, we it's so pretty, too. Mm-hmm. We're just going to throw that right on over the white. Yes, sir. All right, and we're going to put the Purple Rain over here around the white here. The white and the gold. Yeah. My kitty cat's been sick, y'all. So, uh, I won't let him go out. He likes to go on the porch and sit with the girls. There's some feline girls that come around here to see him. And I normally would let him go out there and sit with them because I feed them on the porch. But, uh, I can't let him go out because he's been sick and I don't want him to get out there and get in a fight. He don't fight with the girls, but if one of the boys come up, he'll fight because he's a, uh, a alpha male kitty. And so he doesn't allow any of the boys to come around whatsoever. Now I want to put some of this here. Um, Let's see how this is going to do. This is the tint, the resi tint. It's very pearly looking. Looks very pearly. Pretty. It's really pretty. Looks like it's got a um, silver tint to it. Very pretty. And I will put a heat gun on my colors. I like them to kind of run together sometime. I like a kind of authentic look to them. Over here and put this red around, this Merlot around this red. See how that does. Okay. And then we're going to put the purple rain over here next to that, to that uh, purple resi tint. See how that goes down. Let's see how that looks together side by side. Okay, let me look, let me look, look, I don't have any purple over here on this one, so I'm going to go over here and put some purple rain down. 
this, y'all, I wish you could, I hope you can see this. This purple rain is amazing. Sorry, the, the table was shaking. That was my cat jumping from the end of it to another table. He will be in the room from now on when I do this. When I make a video because he is a little bit distracting. And um, I just don't have time for it when the girls come out there. And I'm trying to make a video. And I'm trying to do some art and focus on my art and he is crazy so okay here's some of the purple haze um black diamond i'm going to put around the purple rain actually i'm going to run it through it Yep, I like that. Very nice. And I'm going to go in here with some gold. This looks like it may not, uh, let me see, it looks like it's leaning that way. So, make sure it's not leaning that way. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to do a little bit of tint right around that stone it's a beautiful beautiful amethyst um, just a little bit of resi tint purple resi tint right around it see how it do on top of them that glass right on top of the glass there yeah okay and i dropped a little bit on here so we'll just clean that up with that oh yeah okay all right um some gold where's my gold a popsicle stick up under here because it's leaning I ain't all right with it leaning like that I'm going to put some Merlot over here. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
I'm going back around this gold here with uh, the resi tint purple. Okay. And over here, I'm going to do some of the Sassy Red with right beside that Merlot. Now I have got so much resin that's left over, it's ridiculous. So, what I'm going to do is, um, a little bit of white over that. That'll be pretty. Yep. Yeah, what I'm going to do is, uh, whoops, I don't want that one. Okay. Purple haze. I'm going to pull a little 8 by 10 canvas out here in a minute and start something on it. Because I like to do that. Okay. Well, that is the purple haze we just used. Mm -hmm. Where's the gold? There it is. A little bit more gold. A little bit more white by that gold. Okay. okay. Let me go back over here. All right. Let's see how far I can get that red around. I really kind of wanted to finish it off in red, um, and then I'll put something in the red, you know, put these colors over here. When I get done with these, I'll probably set them on another table and cover them and uh, get busy working on something else over here. Because I got so much resin left over. So, I think I'm going to do a little canvas, a little small canvas. Okay, right. so uh, I want to run the purple haze. Um, yep, a little bit of the purple haze. Oh no, it's got the purple haze on there. Okay, a little bit of the purple rain. That's what it was. Round through that red. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, I'm stand up so y'all excuse me. We're gonna put some heat on this.
okay. Oh yeah, I like this. Mid-sides. Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I like that. Now, when it's just about, you know, when it gets a little bit hard, curing a little bit, then what I'm going to do is come in and, um, let me get this out from under here some. Then I'm going to come in and put some, the, uh, yep, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sorry. Come in. And put some of the glitter in. Okay. Um, I like this. It's a little different. Smokey, you're going to go in the room in a minute because you're tearing up my blinds trying to get to them girls. You're going to get in trouble. Okay, a little bit more heat on here. All right. And what I'm going to do on this one is go ahead on and put some of the gold. glitter over this glass. And around that amethyst. Not a whole lot, just some. Um, I will come back and do some of the edges of it. This don't have anything on the edges over here, but I haven't used the uh, you know, heat gun enough of what I want yet either. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do these edges here. Um, and I think I want to go ahead and do them in the red glitter. That's what I think. So. And let me go ahead and do the heat gun on it a little bit more first. I love how that purple looks black. Okay. Now I'm going to run some of the gold glitter through here. Through this glass. Okay, and we're going to finish off these edges here with some of the red glitter. Well, black magic it says. It's red and black is what it is. Okay. I'll show you when I get ready to do a second coat on it and what I'm going to do. So, um, for right now, I'm going to move these. Actually, I think I'm going to move them over here. Y'all, you because know, I've still got plenty of resin left. So, we're going to come back to these at some point later, later. 
And for right now, we're going to put some tops up here and do a canvas. Okay. Now, um, the only prepping that I've done to this canvas, this is an 8 by 10 the only prepping I've done is that I put water on it to make it hard. I didn't put no uh, tape on the back yet, as you can see, but I've got all of this wonderful resin left. So I'm thinking I better go ahead and do a couple of these. And... Or however many I can. Hopefully it'll be to just the one. Um, I will show you again the uh, okay here we go. The tiles when they start to cure some I will show them to you on another video, or later on I'll do more of this video, show it to you like that. Hmm, that is so pretty. And that is the purple haze next to that purple tint, which is more like a, a lavender kind of silvery thing that's happening to it. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. So, let me see. We're going to put on top of that. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we sure are. I should have put that clear down. Sure should have, but since I didn't, we can always put it over here. <laughs> How about that? We can always do that. Oops. Or drop a big glob of it there <laughs> and run it through. We can always do that also. All right. Here we go. What are we doing? Yep, that purple rain baby. Oh, it's just so pretty. It really is so pretty. I mean, it's so deep and dark, it looks like black almost. But if you are sitting where I'm sitting, you can tell how purpley it is. It's just a deep, deep, really pretty purple. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Now, I have Merlot still. This has got a lot of resin on it. A lot of resin. Still got a lot of resin to go. Hmm. We might do a couple of coasters still. We'll see. And I'm hoping that my video don't go out on me. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, eat gun.
Big, big tilt. Big, big tilt. That is so pretty. Just gorgeous. Here's the thing. All right, now, let me see what this is going to do here. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can put it that way. Okay. And let me see. Okay, y'all forgive me. I am trying to straighten out these paintings. There we go. Alright. And here comes the coasters. Alright. Here comes the coasters. See, this is the thing about stone coat, right? You can just make it work on and on. It goes forever. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Uh -oh. Oops. 
So, okay, there went that. All right, let me see if I can get some of this on here, up here. Because we got a lot of it on here. And then I've got some uh, molds I can put some of that in. See, I don't like to waste none of it, y'all. I really don't. And I had a lot of runoff. A lot of runoff. And still got quite a bit left in the cups. So, they're going to just make some pretty coasters. Those are really pretty. Look at their designs. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see those designs? Oh boy. I'm going to heat that up in a minute and it'll be good. Now, I'm just playing, but, y'all, this is so much fun. Woo! Having fun. I love to, uh, to just get my hands and stuff all in paint and resin. And, of course, we have to do it with gloves because, um... You know, it's so sticky. And don't want to get resin rash. And we have gotten that before also. Yes, we have. So, here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. The colors, the colors. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful. All right, here's what I want to do, though. I just want to put that right in there. Like that. Put this right in here. Like that. And we're going to put some over here. Now I got this all over my hands. I know you can see it too. I mean, look, <laughs> all over me. <laughs> we'll change out gloves in a minute. So I may not have enough to do another coaster, but then again, we may. We'll see. We just may. Who knew? These are going to be funky, funky, crazy, crazy, but pretty. It's always the most unplanned things that come out so great and wonderful. I've got some gold sitting over here, too, that I'm going to finish them off with. It's going to be awesome, awesome. purple in there. Alright, let me get some other gloves on for a minute.
These are looking real good over here, y'all. I have to torch them in a minute, though. Uh, break up some of the air bubbles I see in there. Okay. Ooh, my hands are a little bit sweaty. Hard to get gloves on. I got all scratched up on my arm over here. I told you my cat was sick. And he's having to take medicine. <laughs> he did not like medicine. Like that. I have a mole over here that is a real pretty, um, it's a uh, peacock. So, what I'm gonna do is let's see, I think we had enough of that to do another. That's okay. I like these three, how they came out. I'm not sure if I want to do this or... You know what? I do. I want to run some of this right through here. Some of this glitter right through here. Sure do. That's pretty. We're going to run some right through here too. Yep. Mm-hmm. I like it, I like it. Okay. And in the peacock, y'all. In the peacock. Let me see, can y'all see that? I can't see it, can you? How about if I set it up here? Can you see it up there? Yes, you can. Okay. And here, we're going to put some of this uh, up here in the top of the head. Some of the red glitter. And in the top of uh, the peacock. And we're going to put some of the gold glitter. Down here in the body. Where it's going down the neck. Okay. Going on into the body like that. Oh, yeah, we're going crazy, crazy today. <laughs> yes, we are crazy, crazy today. It's all right, though.
Okay. All right. Then we're going to put the red back on top of that. That gold. Oh, yeah. I'll mix that up a little bit. Oh, that's going to be pretty, y'all. I can show you a couple of the peacocks that I've done so far. I like to do the molds. They're really nice. Um, I'm going to get me some magnets to put on the back. Now, let me see if I can get any more of this. I uh, don't think so, but a little tiny bit of that purple. And then we got some gold we can put in here. That's going to be really nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Put the gold on top of that glitter, that gold glitter. This is the molten gold that we put on top of that gold glitter for this, uh, this peacock. It's going to be sparkly. Very, very pretty. Let's see if there's anything. Yep, a little bit of red up here left, red glitter. And we'll put it up here on the top. Some more. There we go. String it on through a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's going to be pretty, pretty, y'all. Real pretty. Put the rest of it in there. It'll fit, too. It sure will. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it for the glitters. Oh, I could put some of that purple stuff in there. I like that. A little bit of gold through here. See what that does. Uh, okay. Wipe my hands off over here. Here we go. a little bit of white left and I want it right here right there sure do pretty. We got a little splash of it left over here. We're going to put it right over here. So we're on right over that gold. Right there. And another splash of that gold right here. And we're going to put the white over it like this. Mm-hmm. Okay.
Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, let me get my torch out. Get that a little bit there. Y'all, no, these are so pretty over here. And I still got some resin left. Oh my goodness, y'all. Still got resin left. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is fix some, uh, got to get a new stick. Fix a little bit of the purple haze. Little bit more of that gold, a little bit more of that white, and here we go. The rest of it can go on the coaster itself. And we're going to do this coaster here. Well, I had a lot of extra, whoo, a lot of extra, but I knew I was going to. And I knew that I just wanted to be able to have other stuff to do. I felt like really doing some resin tonight. So, that's why I had all these things by the table. The canvas, the coasters, you know. So I could do it how I wanted to. Alright. Now we got to mix this... Uh, Purple haze up. These are got to go in the trash. Got a trash can up under this table, y'all. Okay. Mix up the gold. Might have enough to do two coasters. Who knows? Great goodness, we'll see. Uh -huh, we'll see. Never know. Never know. Well, you wouldn't be able to see that. I have to move these. I want you to see these if you can. They're really pretty. They come out really pretty. Let's see if I can scoot that over. This one's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh, this one is just out of this world. I love it. It's got so much glitter in it too. So I'm going to move this one over here. And y'all, we've got plenty on the table we can put on it. So we can do another one. We sure can. We can, look at that. We can do another one. I know we can. Because I can't waste this stuff, this stuff on the table. I can't do it. i got to get it up. Get it on something. We do have a um, uh, another mole, but we can do another coaster too. we got another coaster over here. So we can do another coaster also. Yeah, we sure can. I'm going to have fun cleaning up this mess. I know that. Great goodness. Yes, sir. I'm going to have fun cleaning up this mess. 
Hmm. Well, this is going to be a time. It sure is. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to have to kind of hurry with this because it is definitely setting up now. Uh, <laughs> quickly getting ready to set up. Which we've been going quite a while. This one don't have any resin, uh, clear resin on it. It's just the colors that's on it, so I have to stretch it a little bit. But we can, we can stretch it a little. Y'all, my hands are so messed up already again. But that's what happens. That is what happens. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Okay. This is what I want to do right here. some purple to that again. I lost purple on that. Alright. And we've got the white. Let's see what kind of cells we're going to get on this here. Because Larez Angel White will give you some sales now. And you can put it on the top of your stuff. Uh, I use a lot of different kinds of products. Just, do, you know, little pieces of this and that from all kinds of different things. And all of them are wonderful. But this was the first products I ever got. And I still love them. They're my favorite, probably, of all. Here we go. Okay. 
Now, I'm not sure what's going on over here. Um, hmm. I guess something I can pick it with. Here we go. Oh, the gold was doing a thing. Okay. We'll let it do some things. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Draw some designs in that one. That's okay. This one too. I like to do different designs in them sometime. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm done. Let me see if I can get you uh, off of there and possibly give you a better look without this going off. If it goes off, I apologize, but we're going to see if we can get this off of here. So excuse the shaking. Uh, oops. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't want it to fall in it. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, this was the canvas we did. This is the uh, all the coasters we did. We ended up with five of them. And this is the the six by six tiles. Turned out really pretty, y'all. Really pretty. Hope you can see them. And they're not finished yet. They're going to get another coat. They've got some more things to come. So thanks. Thanks for being a part of my channel. Keep coming back. Love y'all. Peace.